Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. Now you know, I don't normally put out shop update videos this quick, uh, but I do have a few items that I want to show, and, and I received a, a, a viewer gift that uh, uh, is just awesome, and I want to show that. So, um, uh, and I, I, have, uh, I have some stuff that a coworker gave to me too that, that I'd like to show, and I got a couple questions about uh, one of the things. Maybe somebody can throw a little uh, information my way, because you know, I mean, even though I'm, I say that I'm new, I'm still fairly new and still learning and, and uh, uh, even though I'm getting a little bit more comfortable and whatnot, but uh, still, got, still got questions. I always got questions, you know. So let me bring the camera in here a little closer and, and let's take a look at what I got. With Father's Day having just recently um, been upon us, um, my wife bought me a few things for Father's Day and, and of course, you know, I'm a, I'm a book addict. I can't help it. I just love to read. If, uh, if, if my body was as active as my brain is when it comes to reading, I'd look like a bean pole. But anyway, uh, these are the ones that she got me. Now, you know that I've been uh, collecting the workshop practice series, and some of these books are better than others, but I just want the whole set. So this is number uh, 31, Useful work by, uh, Workshop Tools by Stan Bray. Uh, it's got uh, little projects in there for the, for the shop. There's a micrometer holder, an knurling tool, a little die filer and some other stuff. So anyway, got that one. And she got me number 32, uh, Unimat 3 Lathe Accessories by Bob, uh, I think it's Loader's his name. Uh, I've not read it, so I'm not sure. I don't have a Unimat lathe, uh, but, uh, but uh, I'm sure that uh, the ideas and concepts can be extended to uh, different lathes. So I'm kind of looking forward to reading that one too. Now, I don't know if you guys know who, uh, I think his name was Tom Walshaw or something like that. I can't remember if I'm butchering his name. I'm really sorry. He went by the pen name of Tubal Kane. Uh, two words, not to be confused by Mr. Pete 222. So this is his uh, model engineer's handbook. And this is just full of uh, all kinds of information for the model engineer in terms of, uh, think of this like the little black book um, or similar to the little black book uh, that you've seen available um, or that you see available and that was kind of a big hit that the uh, Bar Z Summer Bash which I really wish I could go to but I just I can't afford that trip and then uh, the last book that she got me is called uh, Model Engineering a foundation course by Peter Wright uh, now this is a that's a pretty interesting book a lot of this I, I know because from reading other books but it it uh, talks about you know standards in uh, model engineering you know the tools your shop uh, practice and and that sort of stuff uh, but it's all condensed in one one book and and uh, I've been reading on it you can see I'm a little ways through there and uh, it's actually a good read so now in addition to that she got me a set of letter drills A to Z I uh, didn't have any so I have a large index I'm actually going to put these in and then I'll but this is such a nice index that I'll save the index as a Hewitt uh, box um, so uh, high speed steel American made awesome you know because I buy a lot of Chinese stuff because of, uh, of, of limited funds and then last but not least let me open it up here pull it out not that I really have to but you know um, she got me a set of transfer punches uh, these are the fractional transfer punches I don't have any letter or number transfer punches don't know that I would need them but anyway that was awesome. So, uh, to my spare rib, uh, to my spare rib, thank you, honey. I appreciate it. these are awesome stuff and and uh, be well used in the shop. All right, so let me uh, let me uh, pause here for just a second and get some other stuff here that uh, a coworker gave to me. So one of my coworkers uh, said, "Hey, I got some stuff that you might want. I know that you like to mess with metal and stuff, and maybe you'll find it useful." So this is uh, about a three and a half by three and a half by five eighths. Um, uh, angle so cast iron so it needs to be cleaned up maybe de-rusted a little bit uh, but I sure was appreciative of that so now I got two angle plates so that helps and then I also he also gave me some tarot uh, excuse me some steret taper gauges so there's a small set here and a larger set here so those are those are kind of nice especially you know uh, if you want to try to figure out the 
a size of a hole or not a hole but you know a space or a slot or something like that you can poke those in there and and read them and see what uh, see what the width is and then the other thing that he gave me um, was he gave me a planer gauge okay so this planer gauge uh, was alone and by itself and then in addition to that he gave me another planer gauge right that has some standards I haven't measured these standards but that looks about like three quarters of an inch and they can screw here or here that you can screw in different places um, but now here's my question guys um, I could see where uh, a, a planer gauge could be used like a, a sliding parallel uh, especially this one back here right it, it would be nice for that uh, this one's a little bit different it's got uh, a fine adjust here or oh, that's the locking mechanism but um, and these little standoffs are standard so my question is for you more experienced folks um, what are these gauges used for and if you're a content uh, provider and um, you have one of these could you give some examples because I've not seen any examples at all uh, on these things uh, usage you know, their normal usage so uh, when you say planer gauge it, to me that almost sounds like a, a planing machine or wood planer or something like that's what I'm what what it sounds like so anyway um, those are the new tools in the books that I got and then uh, now I got something else that I want to show and and then I'm gonna get to a viewers gift so uh, let me clean this stuff up and I'll be right back for those of you who are uh, following my uh, Burke number four mill project, uh, the mill that was donated by a user a while back that I've, uh, the last video I think I released, I've, I've torn it down and the mill's currently torn apart. Uh, but, you know, if you've been watching that, you know that I'm missing uh, some stuff. Like, for example, I was missing this right hand casting. This holds the uh, drum switch for the motor. Uh, I did I did manage to find one and I, I think maybe I showed this but and if I did I'm sorry um, I'm, get, I'm getting old but anyway uh, I do have the casting for that so I'm, I'm excited about that I found that on eBay it was kind of expensive but I do have it now the the thing I really want to get to and that I'm real excited about is I have a, a YouTube subscriber and his name is Clark Wilson and he's from the great state of North Carolina he contacted me and says, hey, Joe, he says, uh, uh, you know, I have a Burke uh, mill, he says, uh, and I'm pretty good with sheet metal. I can make you the belt guard that goes on the left-hand side. So uh, Mr. Clark, or Mr. Wilson, he uh, fabricated this uh, from scratch um, and even primed it black for me. He knew that I was planning on painting the machine. Uh, done an excellent job on it, and even more than that, he gave me this, uh, the screws to attach it to the, uh, uh, to the column. So Mr. Clark, uh, or Mr. Wilson, I, I'm sorry, in, in the South, a lot of times we'll say Mr. in the first name, so you have to forgive me. Uh, Mr. Wilson, uh, thank you so very, very much um, for the gift, and, and it's going to be a great addition to the mill. And I appreciate your kindness and your generosity. And, sir, I do hope to uh, and plan on paying that forward uh, myself to someone else, too. So... I just want to let you know, uh, thank you uh, so very much. I appreciate it. So I tell you what, uh, you know, the mill's torn apart, but, um, you know, I can get to the column and maybe we can hook these things on here and see how they look. So I'll bring you right back. Okay, so we're looking at the uh, right-hand side of the column here, and I have, this is the first casting I showed you. Uh, the, I think the uh, drum switch um, normally mounts right here. Now, one thing I've noticed is that uh, my... Um, Although these two holes are really close, this one's off about a half of diameter. So I'm thinking that um, there's probably a little discrepancies. Maybe this one didn't come off of the uh, the B-100-4 milling machine. Uh, or maybe when they were made, they are just kind of popped up there, marked, drilled, tapped, and they're just individually fit. I don't know. So, uh, But I'm going to have to do a little bit of modification uh, to the bolt holes to get this uh, on, and uh, so that's that side. So let me pause and uh, let's check out the uh, let's check out the cool guard that uh, uh, Mr. Clark made. So I'll be back here in just a second. Okay, so here on the left hand side of the column is the uh, guard that uh, 
Clark Wilson made and uh, it's close. Uh, the, the whole patterns are different on mine but again I think there's a diff just a difference in a slight difference maybe between the same models of these you know so but this uh, this guard is still very very usable I'll just have to uh, make a, a hole or two uh, uh, in the guard where my uh, patterns are so um, Clark uh, thank you so much man this is uh, this is, this is going to be good it, it fits really close so th it's similar to what was on mine or very similar but now I have a guard and I didn't have that before and uh, Thank you. I just thank you so much. This is a, this is pretty cool, and it gets me that much closer. All right, so I'm gonna bring the camera back in, and I just want to uh, say a couple parting things, and and then uh, we'll put this video out. Oh man, that is good coffee. Look, I don't get anything from them, um, and it's not a it's not a promotion or a commercial, but. Uh, if any of you guys have ever had Black Rifle Coffee from, uh, uh, well, BlackRifleCoffee.com, uh, they got a YouTube channel. You should look out some of their commercials. This is the best coffee ever, man. You should try to get. You should try it sometime. So anyway, uh, I realize this is kind of a quick uh, video. I mean, in terms of, of since my last shop update, and, and I kind of apologize for that. I, I try not to put those out too frequently, but I was so excited about the. Uh, about the cover that uh, uh, Clark Wilson made for me. I just wanted to show it and I just wanted to thank Clark. Um, sincerely, thank you, sir. Um, that is just awesome. So I'm hoping that uh, um, my reprieve from the basement lasts uh, long enough to uh, get some more of this done. So um, we'll see. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch and comment. And uh, if these, uh, videos entertain you or you find them useful, uh, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. So other than that, have a blessed day.